today's video is going to be a DIY dupe. I'm going to be recreating the look of Z Gallery and Case Spade picture frames using Dollar Tree items. I am collabing with other ladies here on YouTube who are very talented and will also be doing a DIY dupe. Please go check them out and show them some love. I'll have them all linked down below. The very first picture frame is going to be inspired from the Z Gallery Olivia frame. It retails for $24.95. I found this picture frame. I really like this one because the borders are nice and flat. And I'm also going to be using this diamond wrap. These both can be found at Dollar Tree. I'm going to be spray painting this white. But first I put some old recycled newspaper inside it so that I don't damage the insides. And this is the paint that I'm using, the Rust-Oleum Gloss White. Once I'm done spray painting, I let this sit and dry for a few hours. And the last step is to cut the bling roll to fit the borders of the outside of the frame and inside of the frame. This was super easy, guys. E6000 will work just fine. I always prefer using the hot glue and that never gives me any trouble. But I think that the frame turned out almost identical to the one on the left from Z Gallery. Next frame will be inspired by this Kate Spade picture frame that I found on bedbathandbeyond.com. This retails for $39.99. I was so close to Mod Podging some glitter on this, but then I thought that I could use some washi tape. This washi right here is from Dollar Tree but it didn't really resemble the picture that much. So I'm gonna be using this other washi that I found. This was found at Michael's and it was under a dollar, guys. I found this on clearance after the Halloween sale last year. This was the closest thing that I found to resemble the Kate Spade picture frame. Once I laid down all the washi, I used some hot glue to make sure that it won't go anywhere. This one was also very simple guys and I think it resembles the one from Kate Spade minus the black borders but I still really like how this turned out. I also found this picture frame in gold at Bed Bath & Beyond for $39.99. They also had this in a multicolored one but since I love gold I wanted to recreate the gold one as well. I did find some Dollar Tree gold washi that was glittery, but this one I thought went a lot better. So I went ahead with this one. I followed the same steps. I just laid down the washi first where I wanted it, and then I hot glued it on so that it secures it better. Again, this was really simple. I think it resembles the one from Kate Spade, but for a fraction of the price, the one on the right cost about $2, where the one on the left cost $40. This picture frame is from Z Gallery. It is sold out in stores. I found this picture online and I thought it was simple to recreate. This used to retail for $40 at zgallery.com. I started off by using the same method that I did for the first frame, which is just adding some of the bling roll to the center. And on the outside, I used some of these flat marbles. I did use hot glue for everything and this is how it turned out. I think it came out pretty similar, but I wasn't too thrilled about it. So I ended up taking out the bling roll and trying something else. I ended up doing two layers of the marbles and I think I like this so much better, even though it doesn't really resemble the Z Gallery look that much. So this frame and the next frame are not going to be designer inspired, but I still wanted to include it in this video to give you guys another option. The top right corner, the marbles didn't connect, so I pulled out my black ribbon from Dollar Tree, formed it into a shape of a bow, glued it onto that corner, and then I had a little rhinestone that I wanted to glue on top. And I really like the touch that this bow gave to the frame. So it originally came from a Z Gallery inspired look, but then I did my own thing and I still think those look so luxurious. This next frame also is not designer inspired, but I have this totallydazzle.com brooch that I've been using brooches and other totally dazzled items in a lot of my videos and I really like the elegance that it adds to any project. I just had to remove the back because I didn't need it and I used some diamond wrap again from Dollar Tree, this time in the color gold. I really wanted to DIY two gold picture frames for my bookcase. I thought this was so simple and turned out so cute guys. And the last step was just to glue on the brooch. I'll have Totally Dazzle linked below so you guys can check them out. They have amazing products for a really affordable price. And this is how my frame turned out. All my picture frames, I just used some scrap paper inside it for the video, but I will be putting my own pictures inside. So this is a final look at all my picture frames together. I really hope that you guys enjoy this. I love how each and every one of them turned out. 
Again, don't forget to check out the other ladies that are also in this collab who will be doing a DIY dupe. I will have them all linked down below in the description box and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I have some more awesome videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!